So around World War II, it was this experiment they did where they wanted to find out how they could create some super soldiers. So they took some poor black folk, man, and told them they was going to give them more money than they ever could think of. They just had to get selected for the program. So people came just in, in like, just droves trying to get up on that uh, on that train or whatever. So the ones they picked, they told them the first thing you got to do is you got to sit up in this cell and make it through, um, you know, see, make it through this process. So the ones who could stand and stay in the cell went to the next thing, but the ones who couldn't do it, you know, they were sent back home. So a nice little group of them, um, you know, made it through about seven, eight of them, um, something like that. On the next thing, we got put up in this um, big cell block. And the cell block, um, it had, you know, they just had, this one cameras was first like getting like the security cameras and stuff. So this was the first time they started having those. So, you know, they was new and to them it blew their mind, of course, because they was from, the, you know, from just country folk, man. They didn't know no better. So they'd be in the cell block playing cards and all that, looking at television, listening to the radio. And just, you know, chilling. But now what they was doing was they was pumping this gas in the room. And the gas that they was putting in the room was made to keep them awake. They was trying to see how long could they keep the guys awake. How long could they stay up without, you know, needing sleep. So they was pumping this gas in there. So now we talking about a whole week that went by where ain't nobody slept. And they started not, some of them started not eating. So they was giving them you know, like IV fluid and stuff to keep them all um, going and the doctors would come in and check on them. But the doctors stopped checking on them after a while. And they started kind of leaving the guys to themselves to, you know, just see how they would end up doing. So the guys all started, you know, stop kind of talking to each other and just kind of was around the thing, doing their own thing. Some of them was just getting a position and just stay in that position and wouldn't move nothing just stay kind of stuck like how you see them folk be stuck when they be on that stuff these days so after a while we talking about a good three weeks went by and these guys still weren't able to sleep they had music playing noises going just to keep them you know keep their mind and stuff jumping around and all that and they never would let them rest so now one of the the, the guys started covering up the cameras and the little windows and junk they had to see through I ain't gonna tell you what they covered them up with, just use your imagination. They covered them up so they couldn't see in there. And they would hear screams, and they talking about screams like they never heard come from a human. Just imagine like somebody coming home and seeing everybody gone in their family. Just these kind of like blood curdling screams. And after another two weeks, they finally went in when the screaming stopped. And they saw two of them left. And what he said to them was, 